Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, see this. This is what I have ordered, and uh, this is nothing but Japan's flag. How does it look? It's very big, so I'm thinking to place it here, nearby, uh, maybe here or that place, so that uh, the background looks a little attractive. What do you say about it? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So, in the upcoming videos, you are going to see this in the background. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and press the bell. For now, let me keep it in the Almira, and then I'll talk to you about today's video. Okay guys, so you gave so much love to that video that I made about who I am and how I went to Japan. In just one day, it crossed 1000 views and you guys liked the video. Yeah, there are a few who dislike, but let's take them also sportingly because I have to work hard so that there are less dislikes. In this video, there are 83 likes and one dislike. So I think this one dislike, maybe somebody is doing it intentionally because there are 83 likes. That means everybody's liking the video. If somebody's disliking it, then somebody's doing it intentionally, but it's fine, doesn't matter. And you guys asked me multiple questions, which is what I'm going to answer in this video. Before that, Telegram link is there in the description. I'm going to upload more and more videos. Currently, I saw there are 74 members in this channel. So if there are more and more members, then I'll upload more frequently. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel as well. So starting with the first comment. Shwetank Chandra Watch the video till the end Maybe the other person's questions may resolve your doubts as well We should not learn from our own questions only We should learn from others questions also So make sure that you watch till the end So that you have full idea of what people are thinking Okay, so without any further delay Let's take the first question So Shwetank Chandra He commented Such a nice video knowing about you Thank you I had one question How did you study Japanese till N2 And got JLPT certification in it? See, uh, you just have to give time. If there is anything that we want to do, not about Japanese, but just give time to that thing and it will be done. Can you please make a separate video on how to master Japanese, do's and don'ts and uh, where to study from? Bro, even I am not a master in Japanese. My Japanese is okay, okay, not very good. If you ask about do's and don'ts, then do's would be give time and don'ts would be don't waste time. Where to study from? You can study through an institute or you can take online lectures but if you think that you can learn by yourself you can do that but after you clear maybe n5 and n4 then for n3 n2 you can do it yourself because i did n2 myself i didn't go to any institute for n2 because once you have an idea how things work then you can do it but if you think you will clear n5 n4 yourself it's possible not that it's impossible but uh, it will take a lot of time so there is one more user who asked the same question that how can i learn japanese and from where just now i answered shwetank chandra is you few you few few you 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 the person said most awaited video so thanks bro so loser alpha loser alpha so i am learning japanese and i am a good front end developer and i want to come to japan how can i uh, front end developer it's a very good skill that you have so i don't know whether you know japanese or not even if you don't know then you can get a job i think you just need to keep applying thank you okay if i miss someone's comment in this video then you can comment in this video i'll try to cover it up in the next video gst raj 4243 it's very useful that you're speaking in english sir and I'm, don't call me sir bro uh, and i'm from tamil nadu watching your video that is one of the reasons that I make videos in English. I'll tell about it in details in some other video. For now, I am from Tamil Nadu watching your video and now I'm pursuing N3, Pressure, BTEC, IT. Please provide me some tips to come to work in Japan. And I have doubts whether to start career as a fresher in Japan or else to start career in India and then coming to Japan, which is better, sir. Okay, so please don't call me sir here. GST Raj, uh, it's a very good question actually. and. Both are fine here. If you start career as a fresher in Japan, that is also fine. But if you work for some time in India and then come to Japan, that is also fine. But if you ask me, it would be much better if you work at least for a year in India and then come to Japan. Why? Because you know how companies work in India, how people work in India, what is the work culture in India. And then if you come to Japan, then you know how Japan works. But if you directly come to Japan and start working here, then you don't know what is the working culture in India. So just work for one year or maybe one and a half years, maximum two years, then you can come to Japan. Based on that, you will get a little hike also in Japan. So that is a better option, I think. So Vaibhav Raj said close to 1K subscribers. Thank you. So writer916 says, I am from a non-IT field, but I, if I completed N4 level certificate, can I get a job in a front, front developer? I think she's saying front-end developer job in Japan. 
I have an online one year certificate from India to learn full stack web development. Share me your LinkedIn account and I connect with you. See, just on the basis of online certification for full stack web development, it's very difficult to get a job. Not only in Japan, but I think also in India. Because you know how today online certifications are provided, right? So if you have knowledge or very good knowledge or you are experienced, you have some experience in full stack web development, then you can land a job. Otherwise, just by online certification, it's very difficult. I would say next to impossible. Pranchal Mishra, Bhaiya, Japanese me koi achhi coaching bata dijiye. I cleared N5 level, but I am not able to get a good coaching for this. If you ask me, there is Mosai. That is the best, I think, in Delhi. If you are from Delhi, I don't know. So you can go and check there. If you ask me, I learned Japanese from one institute called Nihon Kai in Tagore Garden in Delhi. So if you want, you can go there also. But I have heard that Mosai is the best, so you can see yourself. So the next comment by Aryan13996, it's a very big comment. So I'll put it short. Like Japan has some excellent MMA fighters and I'm also an MMA fighter. So I want to gain experience as an MMA fighter in Japan. So should I complete JLPT N2 with mass communication skills I have or should I go for student visa? Hope you will reply me buddy. And one more thing, I want to be the member of your channel. So please start your membership and we both are Delhi boys. <laughs> okay, Aryan. MMA fighter. Uh, I don't have much knowledge about it. If you talk about how you can come to Japan, just on the basis of JLPT, N2 is a little difficult. If you have some technical certification with knowledge and experience, that would be good. But uh, it's not impossible. You can come with JLPT, N2. But again, if you have resources like this, you can come on a student visa as well. You can study here, be it Japanese, be it MBA, whatever. If you want to come on a student visa, you can come. I would say just try your best with JLPT N2 and mass communication skill for a few months. And if you don't get any opportunity, then go for student visa. That would be the best way to go to. And I want to be the member of your channel. So please start your membership. Actually, uh, there is some condition that the channel has to fulfill to allow people to become the member. I haven't met that uh, condition yet, so I can't start right now. Maybe later, but thanks for commenting. If you still have any question, you can let me know in the comment section. Anton War Gaming, from where you learn Japanese? Just now I answered to someone, right? So Priyansh6676, hello bro. I am currently in my last year of BCA and wanted to pursue Japanese course from Mosai Institute in Delhi. Is it good? Should I? Yeah, Mosai is a good institute. Ayush Underbar AAAHE1 says that uh, great video by the way uh, which college did you graduate it from i got graduated from maharaja surajmal college in janakpuri new delhi what's your package after that much years of experience bro don't ask package that too publicly how will be the situation for future if someone wanna work in japan uh, recently there was a news about recession in japan but you know japanese people they will very quickly recover the economy so no need to worry much about this the so situation for future is going to be good only recently pm modi and pm kishida also met like japan's prime minister and india's prime minister they also met and they talked about uh, different different things so i'm assuming that future will be good thank you for commenting. so vamshi krishna 5135 commented bro can you share how did you learn japanese what materials you used how did you divide materials into like grammar and uh, vocabulary could you please help us bro everyone has a different way of studying but uh, since when i studied japanese so from monday to friday i used to work in a bpo that was completely english related job no japanese i used to study only on saturdays and sundays during monday to friday i used to study in the cab like i would open kanji book and in the cab i was studying so that's how i managed my time so it's just that about time strategy you will figure out for sure all the best now jeevan rajput 1089 says can you share info on which institute did you learn japanese from nihon kai i just now i said and how much did it cost so for n5 the fees was twenty thousand. for n4 also around twenty thousand and uh, N3 also around 20,000 and N2 I did it myself. So yeah, around 60,000 you can say. I am self learning the language currently but want to get serious about it and see if an opportunity opens up for me. Any responses appreciated. Not any response, I am making a video on your response. Now Jeevan, uh, self learning is fine but just keep in mind that it is going to take more time. If you have time in hand, then you can do self learning but if you don't have time in hand but you have some money, so you can go to institute, get yourself enrolled in the school and you can study from there also but both ways are fine if you have time in hand so for today the last comment i'm going to take is prateek kadam 3169 i am a 24 year old male with three years of experience in corporate sector i want to pursue an mba degree in japan 
Could you please guide how do I go about it? Scholarship and stipend provided to students, living accommodation, food, etc. Your help would mean a lot. So for living accommodation, I made a video that I'm living in a share house. You can watch that video. You can go in my video section. How much rent I'm paying, all that I have included in that video. For food, very soon, maybe by next week, I'm going to upload one video that how much are the prices of products in Japan, food products like fruits, chapati and all. So from there, you will get to know how much your expenses are going to be. Whew. Well, I think enough question and answers for today. If you still have questions, write down in the comments. If you have new questions, write down in the comments. If you like the video, write down in the comments. If you don't like the video, write down in the comments. If you want to make your Japanese resume, write down in the comments. No, no, no. Write me a mail. Mail ID is written in the description. If you want any other session with me or some Japanese person, I'll get a Japanese person. If you want to ask anything, write me a mail. Whatever the charges are, I'll communicate to you through mail. And if you want to praise me, write down in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and have fun.